Welcome back to this sixth video in this series of SPSS tutorials brought to you by SportsScienceTutor.com. So far we've looked at the entry of data into SPSS and we've also exemplified the running of analyses on SPSS with the use of regression analysis. However, there are a vast array of different statistical tests that you can potentially run on SPSS and so this tutorial is going to look at the appropriate selection of statistical tests. And when trying to establish the appropriate test to use, we really need to ask ourselves three questions. First of all, what type of data is being used? Is it ordinal, nominal, interval or ratio? If you're not sure on that, then check my previous SPSS tutorial on scales of measurement. Having answered that question, we then need to establish the purpose of the test. Here, we need to determine whether or not we're looking for significant relationships or for significant differences. And having established this, we finally need to um, understand how many variables or groups are involved. And if we can appropriately answer those three questions, then we should be able to select the appropriate statistical test for use. Now, as I've already mentioned, there are a vast array of statistical tests that we could potentially be using, and some of the more common ones are listed on this slide. What I'd like to do, though, is just run through the process that I previously mentioned on the previous slide, uh, which should result in us arriving at one particular statistical test. So first of all, we need to establish the type of data involved. In this case, it may be that we're using ratio data. Having established this, we then need to establish the purpose of the test. Are we looking for significant relationships or are we looking for significant differences between groups? If we're looking for significant relationships, then the next question is the number of variables involved. Are we looking for relationships amongst just two variables or are we interested in three or more variables. If the answer is only two variables are involved, then the type of test that would be appropriate here is Pearson's correlation. So examples of where Pearson's correlation would be appropriate might be uh, if we're looking for significant relationships between squat one repetition maximum and deadlift one rep max, or perhaps we might be interested in seeing whether there's a significant relationship between bench press 1 rep max and bench press 20 rep max. Or maybe VO2 max and 5000 meter time trial performance. Or perhaps we might be interested in whether or not a significant relationship exists between an individual's body mass and how quickly they can perform a 2000 meter time trial on a rowing machine. All of those would be examples of um, research whereby Pearson's correlation would be an appropriate statistical test. However, if you need further clarification on the appropriate statistical test to use for your research design, then you might be interested in checking out Mentor on sportsciencetutor.com.